Hey everybody, welcome back. Model Car Madness. I'm going to show you something I'm working on here. This is new for me. I'm trying to make nitrous solenoids for a pro mod that I'm building. And uh, I don't know if the camera can pick this up or not. It's, not, it's focusing on something else. Let me see if I can... I need to try to put my hand behind it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I can show you how I did it. Um, last night I spent about 40 minutes making, well, I made a couple extras. I, you know, I need eight of them. I made about 10. And then today when I got back to it, I realized they were too big. If you compare the two... Yeah, if you see, see the one that, that has no wire sticking out of it, I, that's a bigger, bigger piece of plastic. Um, so when I stuck it in the manifold, I wasn't happy it was too big. So I just, I spent another 30 minutes making nine that are smaller. And then what I'm doing is I'm using the the bigger the bigger ones, and I'm drilling a fourteen thousandths hole in them, which fits this wire, and then cutting the little piece off and uh, gluing it onto the end. So somewhere I have my small. I guess these are my small. Oh, okay. No, I was wrong. These are the ones that are too big. Maybe I can edit this out, but yeah, if you look, now you can see the difference. Yeah, see the one, one with no wire in it is bigger, bigger material. And these things are tiny. I, I can't believe I did that. Now I have uh, seven more to, to uh, put the drill the bigger plastic and and attach it so i'm gonna see if i can show you how i do this and i'm gonna start it under the magnifier and then come back to the camera i don't maybe i can move the camera a little bit i gotta turn my fan on it's hot in here but it is thailand so it's supposed to be hot I kind of have my drill, my little drill set. Um, well, I'm bad trying to look at the camera and look at. See, I just have a little bit sticking out, which is the depth stop of what I'm trying to do to drill into it. I need a more square edge to start. Flip that off with the exacto. see it's being held by the drill so I got my small hole in it I'm going to break it away a little bit deeper there okay now I'm going to see if I can successfully pull the wire out of this nozzle and put it somewhere where I don't lose it and without pulling the end off this is an exercise in patience it came off it came off you can see the little nubs on there I'm gonna put it uh, inside of no not inside of a tire but right on my cutting mat now 
the piece that I drilled, I'm going to try and stick the wire in. I don't know how these guys do this that show everything. I guess they have an overhead camera mount or something. Okay, that's about... And you can see the wire stuck. The wire stuck into the piece that I drilled. So now what we do... Take, I'm going to move this to a better angle here. Now I take, I'm hoping this is visible in the camera. Maybe that's better. Now I take my X-Acto knife and trim just the slightest bit. Now I need another nozzle, oh, which I didn't shorten yet, so I got to do that. Take the X-Acto again. Clip the edges off of that so it's really short. Now, we take a little bit of the To me, uh, extra thin. I have the fast, quick setting, which is not good for this because it dries a little too quick. So I put a little bit on the end and then try to stick it on there. And you can see it's stuck. I'm going to try to give it a little bit extra cement just for and hope it doesn't fall off of there yep so now I have really I have eight nozzles which means I have to make 16 fittings to put the wire in and after that I've got to make solenoids so this uh, this project is going to be a long long time on these nozzles but it's going in they're going in here. This is for the Ronnie Sox Pro Mod Combat. I just have the engine sitting in there, but I did get the wires on. Drilled the manifold. And unfortunately, I drilled the holes for the bigger nozzles, but it's still going to work out. They'll just be a little bit loose there until the glue sets up, and then they'll be held just fine. So that's my way of making nitrous nozzles. I don't know if I've never really seen anybody do it before to to come up with a way, you know, to copy somebody else. So I just Googled a picture of the nitrous nozzles and did my best. And I'm hoping that they're not too big. Let's see if I can stick the one, that finished one, stick it in the intake and show you what it's going to look like before the wires are on anyway I gotta pull the motor back out of the car though like I said that's just sitting in there I was just doing that to get a drive shaft length because I just made a drive shaft okay motors back out and here's the drive shaft I made I ended up in a previous order of buying carburetors the guy sent me the two universal joints for free. I was thinking I'd never use them, and turned out I had to move the motor forward in this car, so the drive shaft was too short. Perfect. Drilled some styrene tubing, put the ends in. I had to cut it a couple times to get the right length, but I got it now. Okay, so where did I put my nozzle? Okay, it's back here. So this will be, stick that in the hole in the manifold. I also have to put paint on them somehow. So they'll go in like that. 
they'll be glued in and the wires will come out and run into solenoids that will be mounted in the middle here this is, is really frustrating but it's all part of model building if it was easy everybody would do it that's why I don't build anything out of the box though I kind of like the challenge of, uh, of making stuff this one's a little bit more challenging than I was planning on but I really want this car to be nice and well detailed so hopefully it works and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video